The diagonalization of matrix A is given below in the form of the inverse of matrix P times matrix A times matrix P is equal to matrix D. Now we want to list the eigenvalues of matrix A and the basis for the corresponding eigenspaces. So let's recall that if matrix A is an n by n diagonalizable matrix, such that the inverse of P times A times P equals matrix D, then we know that the columns of matrix P are equal to n linearly independent eigenvectors of matrix A, and that the diagonal entries of matrix D equal the corresponding eigenvalues of matrix A. Now, since we already have a diagonalizable matrix of this form, we can immediately use the diagonal entries of matrix D to identify the eigenvalues of matrix A. Looking at the diagonal entries of D, we see that we have eigenvalues lambda sub 1 is equal to 6, lambda sub 2 is equal to 0, and lambda sub 3 is equal to negative 1. So these are the eigenvalues of matrix A. Now we want to go ahead and use the corresponding columns of matrix P to identify the eigenvectors of matrix A. So looking at our beautiful matrix P here, we can see that the first column vector will represent the eigenvector, we'll say vector P sub 1, we can see that the second column vector of matrix P will represent our second eigenvector. We'll call it vector P sub 2. And the third column vector of matrix P will represent the third eigenvector, vector P sub 3. Beautiful! Now, the very last thing that we want to do here is use this to list the eigenvalues of matrix A and the basis for the corresponding eigenspaces. And as we begin here, we want to keep in mind that the eigenvectors represent the basis vector for each eigenspace. So with that being said, our first eigenvalue is lambda sub 1 is equal to 6. So this corresponds to the eigenspace E sub 6, which we define as the span of the first eigenvector, vector P sub 1. We can say that this is the spanning set of the vector 7, 1, 6. Our second eigenvalue, lambda sub 2, is 0. With the corresponding eigenspace, E sub 0, which is defined as the span of the second eigenvector, vector P sub 2. And we can say that this is the span of the vector 1, minus 1, 0. And last but not least, our third eigenvalue, lambda sub 3, is negative 1. With the corresponding eigenspace, E sub negative 1, which is defined as the span of the third eigenvector, vector P sub 3, uh, this is equal to the span of the vector 0, 1, negative 1. And so there you have it. These are the eigenvalues of matrix A and the basis of their corresponding eigenspaces, making this our beautiful final answer.